we're live. Hello, people. Hello, everyone. Today we Hello. are going to do session zero of a new campaign. This one being set in the Dune universe. Um, obviously, still playing with GURPS rules, however. With the um, so we're going to start with house creation, and then from that house creation, you'll work out what sort of characters that you want to want to play. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, we can try. With regards to the house itself, I'm thinking of making it like a character. So it house has advantages and disadvantages, and um, they will somehow come into play. I'm not exactly sure. There's certain things like enemies um, that can come into play on regular frequency of appearance rolls and stuff like that, but other things may be more difficult to include. With the exception of things like reputation and stuff like that, your house has a good reputation or bad reputation. They can help with certain influence roles and stuff. Should write. You should write it up in uh, organizations. It has all that stuff. I was going to have a look at that and haven't had time to look at organizations. Well, it uh, has all that stuff. It does. Let me have a quick scan. Um, organizations is power ups? No, social engineering. Uh, uh, boardroom and courier. Yeah, it'll be some annoying monkey work, but I I haven't actually used it yet. Not in the uh not in the sense that it was meant to. I guess I haven't had really uh an opportunity, although that may come up in the uh generic aside stuff. Okay. We will use this. It seems to cover you know, most of the bases. You might as well make use of something if it's available. Indeed. So what was uh, the starting points for this? Well, that will have to be worked out. That's what we'll work out today. So the first step is to Decide on the. Actually, I'll have to reshare this for a right now. The um, power of the house. And there's a, a brief description there for each of them. So you guys will play. Um, agents for that house you may it's up to you you can play the actual like important people like the the heir um, or the ruler you can play you know the house mentat and stuff like that but um the game assumes that you're going to play agents of those people but there's nothing to say you can't play those people it's just unlikely that you know the key players in a house are out doing missions. They Paul usually. Trades says hello. Fade Rautha says hello. With the exception of that. 
<laughs> I'm kind of leaning towards minor. I think that might be a. Yeah, what's the general timeline that is set uh, in terms of just the first Dune book? Before, or the before call. So before, before the books. So um, the Harkon, well, we're not actually locked into it. A timeline, but I'm I'm thinking um, pre Atreides um, on Arrakis. So, so right. would you say House Harkonnen is still in control? House Harkonnen is still in control. Um, well, that's an eighty-year period, right there. So the events of the books are close but not necessarily right. taking place immediately so are we talking within the lifetime of paul like he's born at this point or before that well uh i'm thinking yes and it could be interesting to actually play through the events of um the atreides ah, okay. um Taking over Arrakis and then, and then right. the subsequent betrayal and all that sort of stuff as a you know a minor house or any house really you could be a major house through those events you're just generally not involved so it's up to you guys really I would like to go I would vote for maybe a house major. There was discussion about a house in exile or just coming out of exile. Um, so a nascent house, basically? Be nascent, but uh, nascent. no, it's uh, it, it, it could be any number of those, honestly, except, except probably great. And that was just a random thought. It was not, hey, we should do this. How much? How much do we really want to? Do we want this more random or more thought out? Well, the house creation is intended to be thought out, with the exception of enemies. The enemies are, and how the enemies uh, react to you is rolled. Yeah, I think I'd lean towards minor or major. Uh... I'm probably leaning a little more towards minor than major, uh, like you know, on the, uh, the the upper end of minor. But I don't know who the the, the major would necessarily be. So if you were in minor house, so you could actually be, if you wanted to, for example, you could be a house um, under the banner of Atreides as they take over Arrakis. Um, so that could be something interesting. Uh, yeah. Mm, yeah, I'm I'm kind of leaning minor myself. Maybe like okay. said, I'll on the, minor on the on the upper end of minor. Yeah, I'd say house minor would be a good one first, and then eventually you might become maybe a house major depending on our missions bill your i see you've got a note there already yeah i started started doing that all right so as a house miner do you want to be a uh, a vassal of a, a major or a great house. Well, if we do decide to go with the where we're uh, under a trades, it'd be vassal of a great house because I think the great houses are going to be like a trades, Carino. I think Harkonnen would actually be major, not necessarily great, but mm. they'd be they... bordering on on great. Yeah, I was going to ask what how many great houses are there and how many of them do I not know the name of? Well, House Carino is the Emperor's, uh, Emperor's mm -hmm. line. 
and Atreides is actually related to them uh, vaguely. It's like, I think uh, Duke Leto is like a second cousin or something like that. Um, beyond that, they don't really go into a lot of detail in the first book with regards to other houses. There's uh, Count Fenring, uh, but he doesn't really count because, I mean, uh, no pun intended, um, because he's not really a house. There are several, uh, there there are references to uh, minor or house miners in um, a scene in the uh, on on Giddy Prime, but none of them are named. They're just like, oh yeah, you know, you need to look after your house miners. Ones I recall mostly is like what Ordos, Harkonnen, um, Atreides, and hey, the Emperor. Ordos. I think Ordos, Ordos was, was created for the video game. Yes, correct. But it is one that so we could, it's maybe it's one we could create. Correct. But it's maybe one we could create. Yeah, Ordos. Do have some houses here. Now it's listed as uh, House Ordos is a great house already. When I look at the uh, Dune Wiki. Ah, yeah, okay. List of houses: Original Dune, Atreides, Carino, Fenring, Ginaz, Hal oh, Halleck, really? Uh, Harkonnen, Matuli, Moritani, Novbrun, Steel. I don't recognize a lot of those. Okay, House Matuli was a great house during the time of Alia's Regency, so that's from Children of Dune. Skinners. Where is that referenced? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Right. So, what's the next thing we end up picking here? The house you decide your domain. What sort of choices do we have? So your domain, the domain is what your house is known for. Um, the things that you produce or whatever, and your house has a general monopoly on that. So an example, I think down the bottom, if you scroll down to the, the bottom, there's an example there of the domain since you are a minor house uh, you only can have um, one primary and one secondary domain your primary domain is what you have a monopoly on um, i think somewhere there it says like the atreides have a um, monopoly on pundi rice they produce pundi rice or something like that yep that's from caladan And they are, that is their thing, and that's what they are known for. Yeah, so the, the question there is, mm -hmm. what kind of, what kind of uh, house do we want to have? Are we like a political type? Are we, uh, you know, and so on. So, so there is some areas of expertise there, um, and these are just guides you don't have to pick from these so you can come up with something that's not listed here but there's like artistic espionage and farming industrial and so on well we are playing an rpg therefore it needs to be something a bit more action oriented <laughs> 
I am thinking potentially espionage. That's yeah, that's an interesting idea where it's like, you know, that's where uh uh like, you know, whoever we're vassal to uses this uh, pretty heavily for uh sp as spooks. Uh maybe not espionage specifically, but intelligence. Well, that, that would fall espionage, under... Espionage in a more broad sense. So you'll see there, you've got your um, domain, and then you've got an area of expertise where you've got machinery. So your house produces machinery um, for espionage, or you know, you've got workers, so you actually produce agents, spies, infiltrators, and that sort of stuff. But this will be your primary domain. And this is what your house is known for. So if, you know, if your house A, everyone knows you as being spy masters or, or whatever. So I'm thinking we go with uh, espionage understanding primary. And then are we, do we want to be a nice or a bad help? or more of a neutral part? Uh, well, we don't want to be a bad house necessarily, so... Well, right, you, you guys are you're a vassal. Guys. Potentially well, a vassal to our traders, so you'll have, if you're going to do that, then you'll have to you know, keep that in mind. You could certainly be a vassal um, of the Harkonnen. Well, we could be of, um, I mean, because the other one that I was looking at was the Canley, uh, you know, the espionage is assassination, is that maybe we are a vassal to Atreides, but we we conform to the forms of Canley, which means we do assassinate, but within the rules. You just want to play another murder hobo, don't you? No, I just trying to look at and the other one would be military as we could be secondary is um we not only provide our primary thing that we give to house of trades is espionage but maybe the next one is military we provide military support as well that would give us another end to uh getting onto doom another interesting possibility is to be a vassal to house Carino. Mm. Huh. that's true the, the, you know being vassal to the emperor uh, that could be interesting yeah we could end up being sent out against different houses on you know secret missions which means we might be involved in the attempted pogrom of against the uh, the uh, uh, Fremen here in a little bit because the Sardaukar say, hey, yeah, we, we need you to go whack these dudes. I don't like that. I'd rather us be more <laughs> of Atreides or something like that. I think uh, us being vassal to Atreides is a good idea. So we know where primary is espionage. Well, it doesn't need to be that. You can... Like, these were only guides so yeah. yeah they do cover a fairly broad area those listed i am well uh, i'm kind of thinking in the general direction of um Intel analysis and uh, reconnaissance, I guess, would be the best term. Like the espionage understanding. So the espionage understanding, but uh, maybe the secondary would be like a, a political produce, or that might qualify as military expertise. That could work. You'd probably want to um, 
want to work out who you're a vassal to in that regard. Yeah, I'm totally cool with it being a Atreides because when they get foobarred, then we're basically cut adrift. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I would go Atreides and back up plan uh, Carino. Well, I think it'd probably be more likely that uh, it'd be Atreides and then after the incidents where it seems like uh, Leto's dead and everybody presumes that Paul is also dead, then Carino would sort of snap us up for a while. But then being vassal to Atreides, we find out the betrayal of House Carina against Atreides and we may That could be that an objective that we're we're like all right, we we, we have our suspicions because actually now that uh now that it occurs to me, um I am actually in the process of rereading the the first book because I do it every at least once a year. And when uh after that that that, that mess you, you have uh Oh, wait, before I start, everybody's actually read or seen the 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 like the mini series, right? Yep. Yes. Both. Because I'm not sure about Ethan. Oh, sorry, I pressed the wrong control button when I went try to push a talk. Uh, no, I have not. Oh. Yeah. Um. Well, uh, there's a definitely an incident, and things happen. And damn it, I can't really go into a, a lot of detail with where I was was going with that. But basically, uh, you have Gurney, who is still planet side, and uh, Thufer, who is not. And Doofer is very much aware of who is responsible for the the uh, the assault and was funneling information to Gurney. So it's entirely possible in our hypothetical situation that we would also gain that kind of intel and start doing our own digging. Right. Yeah that that's kind of where I was I was leaning anyway. Else, Atreides. To the next the later thing, so you guys would actually be based on all of that. The Atreides don't, that sounds don't right. have any yep. other holdings. Wow, they don't. No, nope. they they might not classify it as a great house, but they should. Well, Atreides is definitely a great house. Yeah. Right, so... Military machinery primary. What? Wow, somebody just wants to blow stuff up. No, where primary is espionage understanding. Secondary is... That's what is... we're thinking of. No, he, he's reading uh, Ethan's earlier mention. Oh, when was that? That was, was like just, uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes Never ago. mind. So the second area is where we're currently at. So what else are we going to offer House of Trades? All right. So espionage understanding is... What is that? That is particular forms of espionage and counterintelligence techniques. So that means we're going to be working for Thufur, the, the master oh, yeah. of assassins. Uh, what would happen... How about this as kind of a twist? We have... Um, even though our primary is espionage, a twist. Our, it is, we call it our secondary, but it really is our primary because we really don't want the houses to know that we are spy masters. So we pick something else 
that we're really good at as well. And that's what the houses know that we're good at, which covers our espionage skills. Well, no, I was going to. I was actually was thinking sure. something along those lines myself earlier. Earlier. I was going to count. I was going to counter that, but uh, I don't think I'm actually going to counter that. What I was thinking was that it's not spying that we're good at. It's collecting data. And that, in this case, the spying would actually be the secondary. Or maybe it's flipped and everybody understands that we're good at data, but uh, uh, the spying is actually what we do. So what's the data listed as here? Produce. Uh, okay. It, 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 it's produce, definitely, but uh, it could be military, political, or espionage. And you could read it a number of different ways. Right. So we're thinking that the, the, the primary is intelligence gathering and everybody are. Yeah. So everybody know. Wait, is that right? The obvious primary is intelligence gathering or data collection, or which so, is the what we produce, right? So yeah, the problem yeah, is yeah, yeah. everyone yeah, but... cool with the house being a vassal of the traders? Is that I'm cool? Yeah, with... uh, are we locked in on yeah. that one? Yeah, yeah, I think we'll so because we know we know bad stuff is coming for Atreides, and that's going to leave us in a rough way. In fact, it does occur to me, what happens to Caladan when when uh, Atreides is sent to Arrakis? It, Caladan still is the house home. It's just... No, no. In uh, 10191 AG, House Atreides was ordered to relinquish the fief of Caladan and take the fief of Arrakis. Which never really made any sense to me because Atreides are led by a duke and they have one planet and frickin' uh, uh, Harkonnens have two planets and they're led by a baron. Ah, okay. Uh, Count Fenring was named the Sirdar Absentia of Kaladin. That's from the okay. wiki? Yeah. That's an interesting thought there, Ethan, where it's like our primary is uh, intelligence gathering, data collection, whatever. So that would be the espionage understanding. And everybody goes, yeah, that, that's what they're good for. And then his... Uh, you know, his secondary is basically the uh, ideas, the... Uh, assassins thugs whatever infiltration specialists maybe that's what we're it, really good at maybe you call it the secondary is espionage slash canley workers like we can do the assassination but we do the spying or just recon a little bit of all of that keeping in mind you do actually do a little bit of everything, but this is just what you're, you're known for. So if someone wants, wants what your house produces or your house does, then they're going to call up your house and say, we need this. Can you get on the job? Okay, so what is our secondary then? If we're if espionage, whatever is the uh, the is the actual primary. Well, maybe we can um, say we are industrial. Um, that gives us an end to a lot of different 
uh, planets to provide machinery or something like that so that as we're selling stuff that's our means of getting into those planets the other okay. option is is we also are military and but that kind of if we're trying to be secretive of our what our primary mission is we want so something we, that so is... we need to flip those in, in that in in your example. So the primary would actually be, as far as everybody's concerned, the machinery stuff, and then the secondary is the espionage understanding thing. Correct. But the truth of the matter is, is that we're really good at espionage. Let's see. So Kaladin is known pretty much for the pundi rice and fine wine. So we would probably want that sort you know, maybe the farming produce. Or farming machinery. We provide the machinery to House Atreides and to other um, planets. Well, if you took the farming angle, then you could sort of hide the intelligence gathering under the auspice of survey. Just for some context, House of Trades, their primary domain is farming produce, Pundi Rice. Their secondary domains are farming produce, uh, Moonfish. And military expertise, tacticians, instructors, and also political understanding, negotiation. So they have three secondary domains. So they do moonfish, they provide military tacticians and instructors, and they also uh, negotiate do political negotiations. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know whether whether we do the farming angle or whether we do sort of a uh, sack sog special operations and thing. Atreides are considered a major house. Who do they uh, have Arcunin, three houses? Uh, major houses. And Reno is obviously a great house. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so you're thinking, Daniel, that we don't even hide the fact that we are intel providers and such like that, and and uh, uh, for 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 Atreides. Everybody, Everybody knows this house is is like that. The deception I was thinking of was that it was a non-military intelligence gathering situation like just general data collection and then we're hiding the fact that it is actually espionage and political and all that keeping in mind you don't necessarily do this for just the atreides right you will be providing your expertise for other houses only and the entities and stuff allows it. But only with the Atreides mission, right? As a vassal, I would say yes. But then, of course, we're making this house, so maybe you have agreements with the Atreides that you op operate, you know, with anyone, um, as long as it's not directly against Atreides or something like that. So oh, they don't need to know your business, but your business 
can't be directed at them. So we can act, and technically we can have multiple primaries and a couple secondaries, no, right? we can only have one primary and one secondary as a minor house. Oh, it's a minor house, okay. Well, it says even a minor house will have several interests. Well, that's at the very bottom of the domain thing. Rob, or, uh, uh, yeah, Brian had pointed out that, uh, where does it say, as a house miner, their example has two domains, one primary and one secondary. Right, so we need to figure that figure this out. Um, uh, okay, Andricus, speak. He can't. He, can't. he never no, learned. It's it's we're progressing. I don't have anything to contribute at this point in time. All right, so a, prim so a primary domain is the area your house is most famous for. Blah blah blah. A secondary domain is an area that the house is known for, but is not their main source of income. And with the houses, if you're a nascent house, you'll you have one secondary domain. A minor house has one primary and one secondary. A major has one primary and two secondary. A great has two primary and three secondary. Okay, so are we still going to make the espionage understanding, the AKA the intelligence gathering data collection, is that still our secondary or are we making that back to our primary? I think that's primary. Yeah, let's make it primary at this point. Because that is, it, that is, that is it what may we not really be obvious, do. but uh, it probably should be the primary. And then the secondary is what we're, what helps us yeah. get the primary done. And what we're struggling with. I do sort of like the idea of using the, the farming stuff as cover. But I'd go more, if we do the farming stuff, I'd, I'd go more of either the machinery or the workers. Um, I think if the, in this case, if you consider it the machinery, I'm, I'm thinking like satellites, satellite imagery, that sort of thing, planetary survey. So in that case, machinery workers, either way, probably leads to the same thing. Well, if we're looking at surveillance devices, then that'd be espionage machinery. It's quote unquote. Well, and to be fair, given that this is the the we're talking about the secondary domain, um, it could actually be farm for farming, like people use us for farming surveys, agricultural satellites, sort of thing. You just have to make yeah. them uh, a little bit more sensitive than the specs require. Exactly. Farming so understanding. Uh, so I guess. The question I mean, the answer is, do we do production, do we do in industry, or do we do techniques? Or do we do workers? And the workers are actually our information gatherers that we, they provide a lot of our information. What ties the, hand What did they call the uh, tacticians? For Atreides? Um, military expertise. Expertise? Yeah, maybe we should go there then. Sort of in between all of them. And like you said, uh, we're not necessarily restricted to those things only. It's just those are our primary source. So I guess we could still do the production. 
if we gerbsify it, I would say it would be reputation. So you would have a plus four reputation for your primary and maybe a plus one, plus two for your secondary. Yeah, yeah maybe. So this is what Daniel is thinking with regards to no, the house. Not, house. not military expertise. This is agricultural expertise. So farming expertise. Yeah. So, so stewards, stewards and, and land, land managers. managers. But we, uh, but with our primary being um, espionage, we use the farming expertise as a means of put you know positioning people into planets that help mm -hmm. to provide us additional information yeah yeah i i think we probably need to swap primary and secondary here so we're like the we're we're, we're publicly known more like in brian's uh, like brian said uh, if we have a reputation for anything it's the farming expertise and we're using that to get the espionage understanding I think that still gets us there, yeah. Let's do that. Let's swap it. Primary is farming, secondary is espionage. So we need to keep making Phil rewrite it. Get bastiches. Andricus, are you in agreement? Sure. You don't want to make any changes. You don't want to see anything different. Well, it seems to be general consensus, so it's fine with me. I think sure. I'm very excited. No, it makes sense. I'm good. It does make sense. I mean, with vast, we're a vassal to Atreides, so we provide them outwardly, out in the open, expertise on their farming. So we provide stewards and land managers. But underneath that all, they actually do rely on us for our information that we provide. Keeping in mind, you don't necessarily have to work just for the Atreides. Ah, that's right. a boss. Well, we kind of have to work for people well, besides Atreides, because if we we're... work for Atreides, we can't exactly provide intel to Atreides on things Atreides doesn't already know. Yeah, it's uh, also true. So, are we really doing We're understanding, or are we pro uh, more producing espionage? Because we're providing information and secrets from other houses, probably by a particular specialty, such as trade secrets or blackmail information, or do we just understand espionage? Uh, do we need to be that specific? I got the impression that it wasn't necessarily. Well, I think I think the question is espionage understanding or espionage produce, depending on, like, are we developing the techniques or are we providing the data? It sounds like we're providing the data, so maybe I would say produce. Voila. All right. So we lock that one in. For now. Until we drastically or change our mind again. I think we're locked in. I like it. All right. Pay no attention you... to us. We're just, we're just friendly farmers. Give us all your data. All right. So your home world. Caladan. Will be Caliban is an easy one. It's wet and rainy. rainy. Indeed. So, since we are not creating any specifics, um, we all know the details. We can wiki Caliban in all its glory. Next. 
the third planet orbiting the third Delta Pavonis, an ocean world, mostly. Caladan, water planet. Punji rice. You need to decide your coat of arms. A thresher. No, not I don't a thresher. Think I've, uh, I don't think I've seen any of that. Yeah, uh, these is the, the, the eagle. No, not eagle. So the colors of House of Trades is green and black, and it's a crest is a hawk. Yeah, red it's, hawk. This is something that um, Daniel could probably throw together with his um, graphic artist-ness. Yes. What one might expect so. Ah, what would uh, what would that be? What's a super sneak bird that just seems like a normal bird? A turkey. We don't want to have a turkey. Magpie or raven or crow. A COVID of some a COVID sorry some sort. <laughs> COVID. Yeah, COVID. <laughs> Wear your masks, damn it. No, oh, and everybody dies. Yeah, I think Corbin's amongst the the smartest birds. Well, since we're a miner of Atreides, it seems reasonable to uh, to use a bird symbol of some kind. Of course, that really kind of ties us to Atreides. The banner and arms for House Arconan is red and black, and the crest is a sigil. House Carino is gold and scarlet, and their crest is a lion. Of course it is. How about a ram? We don't want a magpie. It's like it's a sheep, but it's really aggressive. Probably the magpie. I don't think they have sheep in Caladan. Oh, well. Now, well, maybe some kind of fish then. Piranha. <laughs> well, what's, you know, what's they're, the they're fish. Really... Does the wiki have moonfish? Moonfish. I don't know. Channel? I I don't know. I was like I'm in the process of looking up the uh, the, the pundi rice to see how it is because it's like hmm. Maybe since you are known for farming expertise, it is some sort of farming related um, sigil. Well, yeah, I was thinking was Captain well, Button, well, Captain Button mentioned the scythe, which isn't uh, isn't wrong necessarily. Well, maybe probably well, needs you, to be a small one, though. Yeah, like the, the, the a, one-handed uh, thing. Right. There's a possibility of having like the scythe. Then maybe underneath it, we have a magpie. We could do. Blades of grass or like wheat or something. Like that. Actually, oh, expertise. Well, I'm thinking for colors, it'd probably go green and gold. Okay, why green and gold? Because farming. That could work. A sickle, like Captain Button said. 
yeah, I was actually in the process of looking that up, like you know the one-handed one handed yeah. single, but I was actually thinking more of uh, like you know Vietnamese and stuff like that for you know, mm-hmm. you know uh, the the bleh, rice. How does that sound to everyone? Because you've got the, uh, the the sickle can totally be used as a weapon. Yeah. So like a sickle with a magpie? I don't think we need the bird necessarily. Yeah, the, the, the as I recall, the, uh, the the Dune images are pretty simple. I mean, it's they're, they they don't have the uh, extensive stuff. They generally have like the colors in just one item there on the center. It's not like English. It's like all over the place. They have chemical elements. It's a way to tie it into your secondary ability, so it's like a subtle reference to it. Yeah, I was trying to think of something. Uh, what if it's a, what if it's a droplet off the top of the sickle, like the, the very tip edge? It, uh, we're not quite in the assassination business, but we could write it off as a reference to Kaladin being in a ocean planet. But you know, it quote unquote poison intelligence knowledge. It's a symbol of knowledge. Scroll? A snake and an apple? A light bulb? I'm guessing Phil's against the snake. Hey, yeah, I am totally against the snake, because snakes are evil. <laughs> the, 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 the triangle with the eye in it. <laughs> now the other thing uh, I was the other one I was thinking about was just a tower like a watchtower but it occurred to me that it might be a little too close to uh, one that we have already used Which I will have to find a link to. Well, um, owls are supposed to be considered wise, right? Yeah, I wasn't sure that owls an owl would be a little too cheesy, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. And actually, it sounds like I'm, I'm looking at some coat of arms, and it looks like magpies are common in coat of arms, but it may be. Yes. You're really stuck on the magpie. No, what I'm trying to say is I'm actually talking myself out of it because it looks like if you have the magpie, it may put a lot of people in mind that you are secretive. Well, to be fair, this is a very long time in the future. I like that tree, I mean, of, tree of knowledge yeah, sort of thing. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I saw that, and I thought that was, a, I thought that was an interesting idea. Interesting no, idea. that's not bad, yeah. I could uh I could get behind that something Celtic. Which would uh give us an excuse to use a, a Celtic related name. That's true. 
since you have the tree above the ground, you also have the tree below the ground. There could be some symbolism there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can go with that. What's your, uh, what, what, uh, what do you guys think, uh, Ethan, Paul? I'm okay with it. I, I'm looking at it right now. It looks good. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so we'll go with that puppy. And what new colors? Green and gold. Yep, yep. We should have a uh, a proper Welsh name so nobody can pronounce it. <laughs> lots of D's, lots of uh, Y's. All right, so this is your house traits. Now, these will be advantages and disadvantages of your house. Um, and that will be in accordance with the boardroom and curia. So we don't know exactly everything there. Yeah, that's just going to be a standard uh, ads and disads kind of thing. Basically, what they, they do is the organization has certain advantages and disadvantages that are common to its uh, its people, members. Yes. Um if you guys are farmers and such, diplomatic immunity of some sort, or some sort of legal immunity, especially if you're, yeah. if you're working in with the espionage sort of stuff. Yeah, so it has uh, the member uh, boardroom and it has member traits. So in that case, it's like you go, uh, uh, these are the things that the most people would have, like alternate identity, blessed, claim to hospitality, clerical investment, divine curse, and so on and so forth. Our primary is farming expertise, so we would have something related to that. What page are we looking at? Um, we're looking at uh, Boardroom and Curia book. Uh, I don't know if you have it. It's basically for setting up organizations. Ah, yeah. So, secret. The organization is hiding a secret that could harm or destroy it. Yeah, well, we probably got that. Yeah, that's going to be... Hmm, I'm going to have to go through that. I'm not sure what all is appropriate for it. So I, if I can our... copy down the ones that they have in the uh, the book, our our uh, our trait would probably be related to perception. I would think. Alternate identity. Yeah. yeah, I'm in the process of adding all of these so we can see what what there exists there what they have were there any uh were there any other examples for the the dune side there is but let me see let me just so find that uh 
Ah, okay. These traits are... It sounds like the example in this, uh, the, the house traits uh, note here is probably pretty close to what we're, we're going to end up with. Except instead of artistic, it's going to be, I don't know, knowledgeable. Those are the member traits that are listed in Boardroom and Curia at the bottom. Well regarded poetry. Um, okay. Oh, they're assassin blitz. That's actually pretty cool. Hmm. I like the idea of legal uh, immunity. Yeah, that's not going to happen in the Dune uh, universe. Yeah, I don't know why we would end up with that. I mean, Lee at Kynes should have had legal immunity, and we saw what happened to him. So you begin with one trait for any primary. So it's just for a primary, then. I I have I have the thing have in my head. I have the thing in my head, but I can't describe it. Uh, the oh, second okay, the second okay, part there I is see, the reputation. So yeah, secretive could totally work. Where everybody's like, "Man, they are really secretive about their, mm -hmm. their farming techniques," because it's like, "Hey, yeah, we have a monopoly on them." That could work. But it's the primary one, so it needs the trait. It's not. Do they have a list of the traits uh, that they they have? I'm looking for it on those page numbers described there, but I'm not seeing anything. So since our farming expertise is is our primary, we could like maybe go with the trait of efficient because the uh the, the farming is really really good. I could see that. And then efficient. then have secretive is the rep house reputation trait. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's kind of where I was leaning with that, yeah. I just couldn't find a better word. Could go with methodical uh, from the uh, boardroom and courier. Well, I think that's probably what it would end up being, the, right? The, right? They're sort of related, yeah. This is an interesting one. Kind of, kind of like the Bene Gesserit, where you have a secret language. So you can be talking farm stuff, but delivering information. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, I figured that would totally be what we we're doing, you know, because uh, all of the houses generally have their own battle language. So ours would probably be like, you know, get the fat, get the, the, the tractor to the, the, the north end. And they're like, what? <clears throat> but that could be interesting. You're, all, you're doing a, a conference on um, advanced farming techniques. And you're just openly broadcasting the secrets of some house. Um, mm -hmm. Because we're describing their, their, their farming techniques and how they can improve them. Would it you describe traits. farming as groundbreaking? Well, I guess certain techniques in farming could be groundbreaking. Oops.
traits I think they're referring to here, page 102, then more skills. So you have categories of skills, you've got battle, communicate, discipline, move and understanding. And for example, the battle is things like knowledge of atomics, dirty fighting, dueling, uh, blades, pistols, sneak attacks, tactics, that sort of thing. Uh, but I'm not seeing anything that relates to like secret or secretive as used in the air. You're talking about uh, ordering? No, no, in the actual uh, oh, okay. But yeah, we're uh, we're working with boardroom. So, so what is so our what reputation? Is... Just thinking secretive, like the, like in their example, where we're you know they they go man they they refuse to talk about you know how, why their their stuff is so good, why their 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 farming techniques are so good. Because, you know, we're like, ah, that's an ancient secret. We can't let you know that. And it's actually because we're covering up the fact that we're spying, spying on you. All right. How does that work with regards to the boardrooming area traits? Uh, well, that's going to be there, a there, I would think. Um, yeah, uh, possibly. But I do know in the traits, it, it you know, there is on, on page eight of Boardroom and Curia, you have the secret. Uh, the organization is hiding a secret that could well could harm or destroy it. For example, an illegal bioengineering project, business with the Nazis during the war, or a crazy ant locked in the attic. The truth is, the truth is revealed, resulting in scandal will cause a variety of problems for the organization, depending on the disadvantages severity. And then you have the usual. Severe mm -hmm. injuries, not uh, necessarily all of them. Uh, group uh, also have the secret uh, when you're looking at secret trade, secret worth five uh, minus five. It'd be one of those where we all need to actually make sure to pick up the uh, the, the secret. That could be like a required disadvantage for us. Well, I don't know if that would be a, a secret for us or. Well, it's specific. Well, it's specific uh, let me zoom in so I can actually read it better. Uh, if an organization has this, a similar secret should be required for at least some of its members, though not necessarily all. For example, an illegal bioweapons program may be hidden from most rank and file members of a government research department. Personnel who deal directly with the project and their managers should, you know, which would probably be us, should have a suitable secret. But janitors, receptionists, and anyone who's kept in the dark about the organization's true purpose should not. I guess the mechanical impetus there is whether or not we're expected to cover up if something is about to come out. Yep, we're going to have to gank the bitches. But yeah, whatever. Another trait that might be useful is contact, like contact groups. So no matter where you are, there's a contact group that is your network. Actually, that might actually be better for the primary domain. Maybe. All right, guys, I got to head out. Okay. Don't right. have too much fun. Have a good one. User disconnected from your channel. But yeah, you know, I figure at least at least for, for the, the time being we can you know have efficient we may may need to change it once we uh, get a better grasp of of everything. True. So that's what we've got for the time being, uh, uh, Brian. Uh, you know, What's next? Secretive. 
that we can we may need to change it if if it, if it you know comes up okay the next is the rolls yeah rolls yeah these are certain roles within the house uh you you guys are expected to be agents of um one or more of these roles so uh we need to sort of define you know who is your food for how sort mm -hmm. of thing we should we should force uh ethan to be the heir so he has to Don't actually worry. speak back a minute Right, so this is saying you we 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 need to determine what our house looks like. Who's our who's our Lido? Who's our Jessica? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. The key the key people that your characters will be interacting with. So if your character is, I don't know. There's an example there. Yeah, well, I had no idea what the characters are going to be yet. Right. So some thought would have to be put into that as well. Hmm. All right, so right. You, just the example there is your characters will report directly to uh, the ruler of the house or a spy would report to the spy master and um, bodyguard the sword master and so on. Are we figuring out who all these people are or are we just figuring out who we're reporting to? A bit of both. We can define some... Uh, now, every house won't have every role, of course. But um, right. So you're you're defining key people, or you could be those people yourself. But it's unlikely that, yeah, except for all the tradies and they, it's unlikely that the key people in the house are actually out doing missions. Or maybe the people that are doing the missions are the key people in the house. That could be more likely in a minor house, since you are a minor house. Um, it's more likely that you guys would be yeah, a lot more involved. Um, okay, so if we go the direction I would suspect we were going, we're probably going to be reporting to whoever the spy master is. And that would be the spy master. Possibly the war master, but most likely the spy master. Yeah. And I am cool with that being a mentot. I think it should be a failed mentot. Mm hmm. Where it's like, yeah, technically, you know, there there's something that just for you know, I can't remember uh, exactly the uh, what the official. He's, he's allergic to the juice of Safu. That would be funny. That would be hilarious. But you know, he's like super stupid smart, and insisting that he's just as good as as a normal mint at. Uh, you cut off. You cut off? It would just simply be one of those like, where we can't afford yeah, to guys. hire a Mintat because we're Bill. still a minor house. Oh, okay. oh. There, we there we go. Yeah, we didn't hear any of that. Who, me? Yeah. Wonder why not? I just just cut out and couldn't hear hear anything for like ten seconds or so. Huh. 
Oh, it's going to say that, you know, it's like, you know, maybe we, we, we just can't afford a proper Mintat because, you know, they're, they're kind of expensive. We want to define the, the spy master a little bit. Yeah, that seems like our, our primary. Maybe in your list there, you should like bold the spy master. Yeah. And give some details to him. Hmm. Interesting question. Does the ruler or rulers of the house actually know about the secondary objectives? I would say they're intimately aware of it. What are you talking about? They're going, what are you talking about? All we do is farming. Water survey. That's it. All right. So what information do we need to know about this spy master? To find him a little bit, is it a he or a she? They have female mentors. I'm not aware of any in canon, but that doesn't mean anything because there wasn't a whole lot of. I think I can think of three off the top of my. Well, technically four. Because you've got Piter, you've got Thufer, technically Paul, uh, because, you know, he, no. he's that awesome. And then technically uh, a Gola that shows up in later, which I don't want to, you know, say the name of to uh, to avoid totally no. spoiling Andricus. No. Uh, hey, hey, you've got the Carinos Mintut. His name I can't recall, or am I mixing him up with somebody? Um, I don't recall them naming the Carinos Mintat. Well, that's also possible, unless Fenring was classified as one. I mean, he sh technically probably should, he was a failed Quitzak Hatterack. Right, so we need to we need to uh, define this person. Does the wiki have anything on mentats that says whether they can be male or female? It does. It has a couple. Uh, okay, so apparently there are at least two listed uh, mentats that are female, but uh, they are in the much later books, and they are Benny Jesuits as well. But that's that's from when the book started going a little wonky for me. Yeah, Heretic right. Chapter House. So, is your spy master but, male or female? Oh, let's stick with the male. For simplicity. And a failed mentat. Hell, that might even just be what everybody uh, knows about him. And yeah, that's that could be, uh, he could be like not a failed mentat, but. The, he let like everybody tell, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I failed. I'm totally not a, not a, uh, a mentat. Honest. No, serious. So, so he's going to be the magnificent bastard. All right. Well, let's define. Is he actually a failed mentat, or is that just what everyone thinks? That is what we know. 
We don't know if he's actually a failed Mentat or not. It's entirely up to the GM. So there are rumors. There's talk. Yeah, Yeah, that might be. Of course, if there are rumors, that means he's slipping. Or they're intentionally put in place so people were under underestimate him and the uh, and the house. I mean, come on, what what's to be afraid of? They got a failed mintat running their their spy people. I mean, come on. All right. Do we need? Uh, do we want to do a name for this guy? Wow, that's going to be. Hmm. It's so terrible that name. I don't. Uh, names are important to me. I don't do those casually. Let's see. What? Well, oh yeah, I guess they do have. Uh, in uh, the the Dune Wiki, they have uh, listed as exclusive Mintat advisors: Dufer Howitt. Peter DeVries and Hasimir Fenring. So I guess Fenring was a Mentat. That is good to know. Yeah, it's the names that we run into because it's like, oh man, to do to, to proper uh, proper Dune names, it's like, um, I don't know. Yeah, proper Dune names, it has to be some off the wall unusual surname. Name generator. You know, I was looking at the uh, the name generator that I typically use, and it doesn't have any Dune stuff. But I was thinking, you just go to something like Formula One or some kind of European sport and find names from there. <laughs> I say Formula One because uh, I always thought the pronunciation of Harkonnen was wrong, but there is a Finnish racer in Formula One named Kimi Raikkonen, so and it's spelled you're, the you're, same way. So you're basically telling us we need to have our uh, our uh, Mintat needs to be named Verstappen, or maybe, maybe. Vettel. Maybe. If I'm leaning for, towards first stop. If he's for if he's for stepping, he has to be a heel. A heel. Yeah, you know the bad guy. Well, then he can't be a first stopping because you know we have to be. You know, he, he's on our side. So maybe Vettel. I like Verstappen as a name. We just now we need our first name. I don't want to use Verstappen's first name. I don't know what it is. No. Let's see, what was it? I don't know. You watch Damn it. stuff. I don't. I just call him Verstappen all the time. I don't even think about his first name. There's a unique name generator. I don't know if it's very good there. What about I don't know what kind of do ah bestopping or do ah do ah? How do you say how that are you do you uh, that doesn't flow very well, which makes it perfect uh, dune name for do people are. that are. And we're just going to call him Sir. Well, true. Right. There you go.
Hmm. So what kind of house is this? Is this the, uh, is this the, everybody's tearing each other apart house or is this everybody's working together like a machine house? What, uh, what Game of Thrones house is this? It's a good question. I don't know. Is that the, uh, the, the, all right. We're still working on the, that's no, that's not on the rolls. Is it? Well, it kind of is. I mean, if you're looking at the ruler and consort and advisors and stuff like that, you're kind of asking that question. What is right. your rule book like? Yeah, I was going to say, uh, who's the, uh, who's the ruler in this case? What, what is Ethan's character like? Oh boy. Ethan's parent. I don't know. Mom or dad. Should be a mom. See a mummy's boy. Wait, are we really going to make the air? Because I'm totally okay with that. I like, have a you sneaking know, suspicion it's coming, regardless. Like you know, like, maybe you they they, they stuck you. Uh, they they stuck you in the there and said you need to you need to cowboy up, learn how to be a man. And it was embarrassing because it was your mom who told you that. Yeah, I could, I could do it. Ugh. We'd be Targaryen. I don't want to be Targaryens. I was, I was no, thinking... we should use the, the old lady from uh, if that's we're doing Game of Thrones. Oh, that's what I was is the Tyrell. Yeah. It's He's internally badass. unified, but externally vicious. Okay. Yeah, so it's not his mom; it's like his grandma because his the the, the 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 her her children are all dead or something. Probably because she pruned the tree. <laughs> Sharper than half the staff that we employ for intelligence gathering. I can live with that. What the hell was her name? Oh, damn it, uh, I had that written mm -hmm. down. Yeah. Something along those lines. Olena, O L E. So Mace Tyrell was the patriarch, I think. Does she Nominally. currently have a husband? Or has she outlived her husband? I've totally uh, outlived like three husbands now. If if we're ripping them off, then uh, the house patriarch is her son, I think. So does that mean Ethan is going to be playing uh, what's his Lawrence? name, the Nine of Flowers? Yeah. No, no. And his sister is hot. Uh, your dude, your your sister is totally hot. I don't see how that makes Stab. things better. What about the uh, stream chat? Go ahead. Uh, who's been picking into that? Yeah, we've been. We've yeah, been I've been chatting with Captain Button. Because apparently, me and him are the only ones that have actually, you know, read more than one of the books. Long live the fighters and all that. Did the decal or the background image change for you guys from the first one? Uh, I guess it did. Uh, I see the see second dude. one. Dude. I see a dude uh, in the center, uh, you know. Yeah, looking at the uh, thing. Yeah, it's what you, you know, what you have. Should be a new one here. Oh, right. hey, no. yep. Knife in the back. Behind, behind the back. Yeah, there, there's a there, there's a few differences there. This is the image that is that's really in the book cool. The I did not, that is really cool that uh, you can do that. I, yeah, I, I do approve of that. It's like I, I mentioned to Daniel uh, the uh, yesterday because you know we 
we play uh, Traveler face to face, and I use um, Fantasy Grounds for the characters, you know, so everybody is able to log on. And I swear to God, the thing I like the most in uh, Unity is a simple thing. It's the ability to freaking minimize Fantasy Grounds. Right. Yeah, so we got an Olenna Tyrell kind of a uh, old woman who's in in charge. Uh, she's old as dirt. She's going to outlive everybody. And she will rip you a new one. Yeah, I, I didn't even give her a name. I just said, you know, Olenna Tyrell kind of old woman. Badass right. old woman. Okay. Uh, who else do we need to figure out then? So, uh... She, uh, yeah, so she doesn't have a husband, so the consort isn't necessarily a, a thing here, but. Um, I guess you guys might be interacting with an advisor of some sort. Maybe martial or swordmaster, warmaster, those people. Depends on what sort of characters. Do you have any sort of idea on what, what characters you'd like to play? Well, if we're ripping off the Tyrells. Well, that's not going to matter so much about the, the characters that we're playing. Now, I'm kind of assuming that we're going to be playing some kind of uh, military contractor. You'll be some applying... Kind of You'll be applying farming expertise on Arrakis, improving spice production. Mm -hmm. The uh, House of Trades, who are uh, going to be taking over the beef of Arrakis. Yeah, so well, maybe, given maybe you're there early, just to given the uh, nature of Arrakis. I, I would expect that we're we're there trying to find somewhere where you can grow something. Well, your farming expertise could apply to the harvesting of spice. Doesn't necessarily mean yes, yeah, or just maybe produce the harvesting or water for that matter. That's true. So maybe, yeah, water, uh, water conservation. It's known that House of Trade is, is to move to Arrakis and your role there is to see if you can find techniques or just work out some techniques for improving spice production or efficiency and stuff like that. Meanwhile, while gathering information. Mm -hmm. I can dig that. So you'll be, you'll be, oh, I don't know if you'd be work. How would Harkonnens treat a vassal of the Atreides? Yeah, they would not be treating this well at all. I don't know if they would be outwardly murderizing you, but they would um, uh, certainly make. I think they would. It would because, make life difficult know, for them. is ongoing between the two, remember? Yeah, but does that apply to vassals? Hmm. I would I would think even if they weren't outwardly hostile to uh the vassal company like that, they probably wouldn't employ them. No. Well you wouldn't be there on their employ, but you might have to interact with them in some way. No, that's definitely going to happen during the changeover, I would think. So we're possibly there less to uh, interact with them and maybe more to interact with like Liat Kynes and such. Yeah, that would make sense. 
you know, there are other planets, you know, other than Arrakis. I mean, we this could, is true. Are there, have, have are there really? On, on Caladan. Yeah, I was. I would be surprised if the RPG didn't kind of focus everything on Arrakis, just like Star Wars focuses every bloody thing on Tatooine. Well, at least there's a built-in explanation in in Dune because yeah. Arrakis, Arrakis is the most important planet in the universe, as far as they're concerned. My idea of the campaign, my general idea, as you starting on your homeworld and then relocating to Arrakis. Uh-oh, I think we're going to end up getting recruited by Fremen. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking that the PCs are probably going to be some kind of survey team that are actually under the surface uh, recon. Like actual military recon. Well, interesting to note um, on the uh, the Ladoon uh, wiki, it does say that uh, that Count Fenring takes over Caladan after uh, the uh, after Atreides relocate to Arrakis. I could totally see an old woman like like this going. No, I, I'm not going to move there. Yeah, that's true. Your house remains on Caladan. That could, yeah, that that, that might uh, might might make sense. Uh, and, and you know, uh, maybe they're still they're still pledged to to uh, Atreides, but they, yeah, man, that's so that's so complicated i'll have to do some research on how how vassals yeah. work do you mean in general or just uh on in the uh to the game well in general and then how it would apply to the june universe how much autonomy does a vassal have well, in general, the the whole concept of vassalage is that I am a ruler of this land and I don't want to run the whole damn thing by myself. So I'm going to take my top guys and I'm going to have them swear to me to be vassals and they're going to run little pieces of my realm. So in this case the minor house would be a vassal house to the Atreides, we would be running a little part of the Atreides realm. So I guess in that case, if that then if Atreides is basically divested of everything on Caladan and completely relocated to Arrakis, we would end up going with them unless uh, that vassal contract was broken or something. I guess you, yeah. could, you could still operate in the interests of the house, even though they're no longer on calendar. Especially if, you, well, if your ruler says, no, I'm not going. Screw you guys. I'm staying here. Yeah, but uh, right there, the the easiest solution in that case is like that ruler could go. All right, I am uh, I am resigning my position and passing it on to my heir. Yeah. Well, it's also it's also the case that even though we might be headquartered on Caladan, that doesn't mean that's the only place where the company exists. Well, ultimately, I'm thinking you know if we're our, our cover is farming, uh, then Arrakis is not particularly conducive to, to us there. So that's at least a legitimate uh, excuse, mm -hmm. explanation, whatever. 
but I'm I'm assuming that the house is going to be working on a lot of different planets. I would assume that if you're if you're providing stewards and land managers and stuff like that, you would have people all around the, the galaxy. Oh, what was that? Fish and wildlife? Something like that. But yeah. All right. Well, do we need more than uh, at this point than the uh, the, the ruler and the spy master? Because I can totally go through there and uh, I'll coordinate so, or knock out some other stuff later. So. I think they're probably the, the most important people that you guys will be dealing with at this point. Right. Okay. We can knock out some extra airs. Uh, sorry, extra rolls uh, as we go. Groovy? Yeah. So what's seven? Right. Okay. Well, it's... I'm going to have to say that we are prior, straight away. Oh, wait, never mind. I see. I was about to say, you know, straight away, we're going to have Harkonnens as enemies because, you know, that's our boss's enemy. One minor house. What would be the most likely thing that we would bump into? It's probably a rival agency equivalent, a uh, rival uh, intel type. Well, yeah, I mean, I suppose we could do it that way. Or someone who, you know, hey, we we did, we I uncovered some information and it effed them up. Like they used to be a major house and now they're a minor house because of us. Hmm. Yeah. Well let's let's roll on these tables. You're gonna have to share those, I think, because it's not letting us uh not letting me see them. I can click on the link, but it doesn't pull anything up. Ah, oh, there we go. Ethan, you're too quiet. You no. roll. I roll. So roll on the enemy's hatred. hatred table first. Roll just once. Okay. Ah, that kind of fits. So it's a rival. And then reason. Uh, and then roll on the reason. Oh. Right, so they are rivals for due to an ancient feud going back longer than anyone can remember. You should be able to just copy and paste on the thing. And you don't need to type it in. Oh, yeah, I guess I can. Ta da! What do you think? All right, so your enemy house 
we define your enemy house to some degree. I think um, the enemy house should be Romany. Why Romany? Because we're Celts. So they should be Roman, not Romany. Yeah, well, Roman might be a little too on the nose. Given this is Dune, it'd probably be Romany. They are going to be a minor house, and they're a vassal to who? Maybe they might as well be a Harkonnen? Maybe they're a vessel to the Atreides. Ah, uh, actually, maybe they're well. It could be vessel to Atreides. Maybe actually go with uh, Carino in this case. Ooh, I actually kind of like that. That's good. What's the nature of the feud? I don't know. We have no idea. It's been going on for yeah, so yeah, yeah. long. It's like elves and dwarves. It's just nature. Honestly, I suspect it'd probably end up being something utterly stupid that, you know, once you found out and it's like one guy said good morning and the other guy was in a bad mood and said fuck off. Be a Romeo and Juliet sort of thing as well. Could be. Like, whichever one of us is the younger one is uh, descended from one of their people or the other person's people. I guess the feud could be a split in the house. Uh, yeah, that might be reasonable too. And that's, Especially that's considering your rivals. Of course, this is ancient, so it would have had to have happened a long time ago. I guess in GURPS terms, we should probably work out frequency of appearance. Yeah, yeah. Nine, nine. Eh, uh, might be a bit much. Eight. Well, it is just a rival, so... Uh, they might be hindering your activities as much as 15. possible. Well, it's a... Uh, it's a GM trait here, or a campaign trait, so... It can be whatever the GM wants. Eight. But eight. given that this is a... Uh, a one shot, basically, or potentially a one shot. It's a short a run. Shot. Call it a short run. Then uh, they're gonna they're gonna show up anyway, and it's a per adventure thing. So. Mm. I guess we need to define that. I'll, I'll find a way to work them in. What is their name? They are House Who. Uh. <laughs> you know, you could just totally just call them House Romany, but spell it, you know, R-O-M-A-N-I-I -I or something. Well, you could... I was actually looking for a Romanian name with actual Rome in it somewhere, but uh, I'm not seeing that. Because I guess Romani would be Italian. No, Romani's gypsies. Romani Romanians? Mm, uh, maybe. It's somewhat Slavic. I don't know that there's there's some uh, nuance there, I think. 
Romani are an Indo-Aryan ethnic group. Wow, linguistic and genetic evidence suggests they originated from the northern Indian continent. That's very interesting to me. Do we have a name? Well, I mean, you could just go with Roman. It's a it's a legit surname. Well, I am currently looking at uh, the Romani underscore people on Wikipedia, and they have this exonyms. Uh, I've never heard of that word before. Uh, just perceived as derogatory. Many of these exonyms are falling out of standard use to, to being replaced by a ver uh, version of the name Roma. But they have a whole bunch of names words that are potentially usable like you know they have apparently portuguese of zingaro Russian oh but that's that's Zigang. that's for the the people's name not right yeah, but, uh, yeah. Uh, you know it's just thinking that you know we can use one of those and tweak it although you know if it says it's perceived as derogatory Here's an idea for the um, reason and for the feud. Since House Carino has ruled the known universe for a thousand years, perhaps a uh, a member of your house married into um, the Romani the Romani family or Romani house. And that was done against the wishes of, you know, parties involved. So Romeo and Juliet sort of thing. <clears throat> Which caused a, maybe it was the heir to your house married into the house Romani. Causing a great schism. At the, at the same time that house Carino um, basically ruled the universe to control of the, the universe. Well, if our heir married, then... Oh, there you go. We can, yeah, we can totally use that, Daniel. Are they led by a really tall woman? Ah, okay. Here's one. Yeah, I was totally thinking of that. There's one what? Gotcha, Romanescu. That'd be Romanesque. What horrible are... house? Their homeworld is um, eighteen. House Carino actually has other holdings of Seleucus Secundus. So, yep. Which is just a prison planet. Pay no attention to it. House Carino, their primary domain is military workers, Sardauka soldiers. With the chef hats. Get the bread. I'm glad they didn't go with the chef hats. I like the chef hats. In the um, new movie. Because, you know, if a dude is that badass. Man, where's that hat walking down the street? You know, he's not afraid of anything. Yeah, well, it still hasn't freaking released here in the States. I think it's released anyway. It's only been released to. No, no, the I'm viewers. pretty certain it's been. Uh, I'm pretty certain it's been released. Three weeks ahead of time in the U.S.? That seems odd. Yeah, it was something stupid. I saw that. I'm like, really? My Why understanding is it's only been released to uh, critics and stuff. 
release was in 14 markets outside the U.S. on September 17th. Uh, Russia, France, Germany, Italy, and Spain. Huh. I know, right? It's only earned 77.8 million overseas. That's too bad. But I figure they'll probably mangle it in some capacity. Right. We we also need uh need to come up with our house name. Donut. Why Donut? Well, it's Irish Gaelic. But what's it mean? I don't know that exactly, but it's nice and simple, and there's yeah, also... Yeah, but trading actually meant something. Tuatha de Donan. Oh, yeah, okay. So oh, that's yeah, spelled I like wrong. that. Is it? Yeah, it's D-U-A-T-H, I think. Hold on. No, well, that's not the whole uh, uh, word. D-A-N-A-N-N. Is it? I don't think I've ever seen it spelled that way. But whatever. Okay, I like that. That means we have to mm-hmm. make sure that all of our characters are Irish guys. Indeed. Crap. I can, I'm sorry, guys. I cannot successfully do an Irish accent. I can barely I do an American accent. Yeah. Daniel might be able to. I haven't really worked out the Irish yet. So why didn't you come up with something Scottish so you can use your uh, Scottish accent? So house traits. Well, it's Dune, so your there's house traits around. will be alcohol tolerance. Yep. There you go. And a lovely and color green. And luck. That would be cool. Luck as a house trait. You guys just, you know, in. Instinctively we beat the That's odds. Our house trait. Everyone has luck. We survived the craziness on Arrakis that time. Man. You did it. Drunk. And blind luck. Yep. All right. So. Our options there are Colin Farrell, Sil- Killian Murphy, Pierce Brosnan, Gabriel Byrne. Like, hey, we've got some pretty uh, solid. Uh, Kieran Hines. Solid, solid... Uh, I, the... Well, he's Welsh. Yeah, we'll take the Welsh. England is like, please take the Welsh. Got was it Brendan Gleeson? If somebody wants to do the straight up redhead, actually, isn't uh, uh, crap, what's his name? Taken guy, Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. Isn't he Irish? Irish? Is, he, is he Irish or Scottish? I thought, he, well, I thought he was Irish. I thought Brendan Gleeson was Scottish. But no, actually, no, I'm, I'm not, not sure. Gleason. I'm thinking not. It's not Gleason. It's the uh, the younger dude, Brendan something or other. Uh, maybe not Brendan. Uh, it's I'm thinking of the redhead guy who was in uh, the Star Wars movies, and uh, he was in uh, Dread. Oh, actually, uh, Harry Potter. What's his face? Yeah, I'm not getting there yet. The redhead guy. Oh, yeah. Liam Neeson is from Northern Ireland. So somebody is going to have a special set of skills. Well, that's kind of who we are, isn't it? Oh, my God. He's, uh, we're doing the A team. <laughs> well, we kind of yeah, potentially yeah. are. So you're going to have a tricked out doctor? Black with a red swipe uh, swoop on it. Don't you touch my top, the fool! And for some reason, you know, every time you get into a chase or something like that, the Harkonnen's thopters flip and roll, crash, and then the Harkonnen's crawl. Down. 
Damn it. Damn it. No, I'm totally thinking in that regard. I didn't want to think in that regard. Right. So, uh, what is number eight? There is no number eight that defines your Okay. House. So now we have to figure out the the other stuff, like how many Point points levels. this is, and yep. What is your preference as GM? I, mean, I is have no. Be, I have no particular preference. Action game? Is it going to be something else? That depends entirely on your choice of characters. So if you guys are going to be action related, like military, uh, somewhat whatever, then of course then your characters will be more curbs action type stuff. But it could be political, could be anything, whatever you guys want. Hmm. Knowing you guys, I would say it's more action related. So, you know, the 200, 250 point sort of levels. Look at, um, look at GURPS action for some guide uh, in terms of templates. I'm kind of thinking that's probably where we're going to end up. I think that's where you would probably go for Dune in general. Yeah, that's probably true because it's like uh with all the all of the, the freaking characters for the most part is it's like a world of badass. Cuz it's like you you think about uh the, the various characters in the the first book, mm -hmm. okay? You have Paul who is easily 500 points and he's just a punk kid because you know he's the potential chosen one and he's a mentat and you know and all and all that and he's like got trained by a master at the very least and you have you know like duncan and gurney and hell leto although honestly leto doesn't have a particularly great showing in, in the first book but And that doesn't even bring in uh, the, the Fremen yet. So, yeah, yeah honestly, action is probably the way to go. So we go action templates, uh, characters. Well, we got, what, three, four of us. Um, we just, we actually do A-team kind of thing. I am not doing the A-team. I mean, not literally, but just uh, operators. Are we going to... Um, make Ethan the heir. I was I'm joking still... about it, but I'm totally fine with forcing him to it. As Ethan's as like, I... Oh, I think I've got to sit this one out, guys. <laughs> no, I, I, I think it might be good for as a player to be forced into a role where I actually play. So well, honestly, I don't think it's going to change a lot. No, he needs to build him as a face man, and then when something happens, we go, all right, Ethan, step up. Yeah, yeah, that could, that could work. Yeah, but we can't throw stuff at him to get him to move. Mm -hmm. If we set up some kind of USB uh, catapult Shocking or something, hockey. or that. So, in terms of the, the general scope of what's going on, you guys are vassals um, heading to Arrakis prior to the Atreides takeover. Yeah, Mummy um, has sent has sent um, Ethan's character out to lay the groundwork for the house, get them established. And you guys are maybe 
the protectors and advisors to um, the air, working with the, the spy master to you know, secure certain information channels and stuff like that. That sounds pretty reasonable. Hmm. Yeah, if that's the case, then uh, we'll probably end up having to figure out the marshal or whatever, whoever's training him. So, and your your characters perhaps have known the air like all your life. You've grown up with him, um, you know, best friends, maybe even relations relatives to the air cousins you guys can be the duncan idahos yeah yeah i was actually already i was thinking about uh using uh the weapon master from action three instead of uh one of the regular action oh. actions. so it's so. like you know he's he's uh you know he he's a knife guy or a sword master what is it uh Swordmaster Ganaz, like Duncan. Yeah, that could work. Um, since your characters are going to be more action orientated, it makes sense since it's known that the Harkonnens have no love for the Atreides, and that by association means you guys. So, Arrakis is going to be a dangerous place. So it stands to reason to send. Yeah, you know, badass people to protect the air. I'm playing a ninja. Fucking a. Done. You're gonna, you're gonna play ditch. No, uh, an actual ninja. Right, ninja might... is a uh, thing. Yeah, but uh, just thinking about that, ditch would work really well too. <laughs> now that's gonna step on the uh, sword master a little bit. Got to figure out what the primary weapon's going to be there. I guess that leaves Paul. Well, there's any number of uh, yeah. stuff that's still that's still open. Yeah, he can pretty much take his pick there. All right, well. And you guys are okay with playing in the lead up to the book? Oh, yeah. I may end up, you know, starting reread it again. Yeah, that's cool. It's been a while since I read the book. I don't know how, how much notice the attract. I guess that depends um, on how successful they, they we are. Don't really pay it, you know, because if you recall, they just, uh, you know, in in the book, it straight up starts with they're in the process of packing up when the uh, the truth sayer lady shows up. Uh, was it Bon Bohenim? Damn it! I know it. It's like Mother Helena Gaius Bohem, I think it is. Uh. I would imagine that there would be years, years. Guys, of Helena, Bohemian. Notice. Yeah. Well, let's see here. Paul Trades. Good old Gussel himself. What's the TL? That's a good that's, question. That's difficult. I think we'll have to play that by ear. Um, I'm thinking generally tech level 10. Actually, what did, the, what did that third edition book say? Generally tech level 10, I imagine, with elements of tech level 11. Um, but then tech level 9 on many other things like computers and stuff. Let's see. Third edition had said 
Dune universe is considered to be tech level nine with some major anomalies. Sounds about right. Which that's third edition nine. I don't remember how that broke down. I know nine is not the same. So it might actually be 10. I'm thinking 10. But there are elements of yeah. high tech levels. I think 10 is when Contragrav becomes a thing. I believe that's right. Yeah, so if, if we just go with 10 as a basis, we can buy all our gear and... Uh, and deal with the particulars. But there are things that are definitely 11, like shields and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think 250 points, tech level 10. Um, standard action templates. So I think that's 75 point you said. Something like that. I think it's 50, or probably 55 quirks, I'm not sure. But that's all, that's all, that's all part of the template, so... Yeah. Do you guys have any thoughts on how it is that you guys are all related to each other in some way? Um, I am actually leaning toward, uh, you know, having basically grown up when I wasn't, uh, grown up around the air and when I'm not, uh, when, when he wasn't learning to become, uh, oh, right. So I'm there. Let me start over in English, uh, thinking, you know, he grew up with him knowing that, you know, it's the, the whole, my life before his, my blood before his sort of thing. And then spent some time away learning to be the uh, sword master to increase the, uh, the, the, the protective ability. Yeah, I was, I was an originally thinking of something else, but I'm kind of leaning at the moment toward, uh, internal house members. They had a term for it. Yeah, but other than that, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. I guess that could be worked out on the board, too. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just thinking, you know, at least with mine, it's one of those where you know, he, he grew up with the, 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 the presumption that my job is to protect him. You and the heir have trained together since... You were kids. Yours with a particular job in mind as a protector. Yeah, what what uh, template are you thinking there, uh, Ethan? Are you actually going to go with the, the, the face man or are you going to go with something else? I'm leaning that way at the moment. Uh, not 100% decided as of yet, though. Cool. Um, in either case, the characters uh, would be long-time contact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they would not send anyone that hasn't, couldn't be trusted or hasn't proven their loyalty <laughs> and all that sort of stuff. Just occurs to me that, you know, uh, Paul had said uh, previously that he really liked the... Uh, the paramedic, and it's like if he does the, the medic here, is, is he going to have a mm -hmm. diamond tattoo? Mm -hmm. That would be so fun. Oh, yeah. 
or could be a souk doctor. Yeah. Okay, that could be a problem though, because the souk conditioning supposedly makes them incapable of inflicting harm. E. Maybe he's not souk doctor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's just a trusted. Maybe he's older, has been a um, like a medical caretaker for the heir since he was a boy. In that case, he would he would report to the house chief position. Well, he hasn't said that. If you guys are going buddy types, then we would we would need to work out you know swordmaster, martial roles. Yeah. I think I might do yeah, I think I might do face man with security lens. Hmm. Yeah. What is the heir's relationship to the mother? Uh, in terms of like general Character. tone. Yeah. Um. Uh, respectful but frustrated. I uh, all you know always instructing and never uh there's no no opportunity to prove yourself yeah i think I think so you know it's, it's... she thinks you're useless yeah she she thinks character's useless uh character thinks no that's just because you come in and like ten seconds after I make a decision you've you've supplanted it for your own and da 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 You're just like your father. And she outlived him. There you go. Yeah. Grandfather. No. And just like his father. And your this mission that you're on She's giving you the opportunity to prove yourself. She thinks you'll I fail. She'll done. think you'll fail, but you want to prove yourself. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. All right. Well, I th think we're mostly done. Yeah, I think so. Uh, anything else we could sort of take to the boards? Yeah, I think we got most of what we need. I will start uh, the prep for the campaign. I uh, there is a um, in the the books. The June books. There is a a random adventure generator. Hmm. So if That's I don't if I don't get my actual campaign planning done, because I remember I said it might take me more than one week to prep everything. If I don't get that done, we might play the random adventure generator, which uh, well, that could be interesting. Gives, gives you a mission. <clears throat> so I'll do that as a potential. Back up. Uh, back up if I don't get other prep done. All right. I don't think I'm actually going to be uh, available next week. What? I'm not sure. Who are you? What have you done with, done Daniel? with Daniel? Well, it was already going to be a buy, so. No, it was going to be maybe a buy. It was, it was already going to be maybe a buy, so I'm. Um, 
I may have a thing. We can make it a make it a thing. That way, I have two weeks to pre prepare, which would be plenty of. I think I'm going to use my glass <laughs> bender for my uh, my dude. Oh, because he's Irish. Is he? Apparently. Huh. Although he was technically born in Heidelberg, Germany. His dad's German and his mom's Irish. And then he was well, raised crazy. in Ireland. So he really likes to drink. Peace was never an option. There is also the option to play siblings. I, that kind of works from a, from a party standpoint, but I have a hard time thinking that a noble house is going to send all the siblings on a secret mission. This is true. Well, you could have like, you know, one of them maybe be in a, uh, you know, like a bastard or something like that, where it's like, you're not going to inherit and we're not as worried about you. Uh, that's another matter. John Snow. Siblings. Basically, yeah. Maybe she's pruning the tree again. She might be pruning the tree again. Maybe she's actually, a, you know, working for the Harkonnens now, or she was killed and replaced by a face dancer. Yeah, that'd be about right. What is the ruler's? Um relationship with the Atreides? Uh, Complete loyalty? Or is she using the Atreides to establish her own house as a, as a you know, stepping off point to bigger, better things? I don't see her as being a complete loyalty kind of person. No, I don't either. On the other hand, this is a really old house, and uh, and I'm assuming they've been with the Trades for that long too. So, yeah, it could easily be that you know that she was she, she was perfectly loyal, but maybe she's really frustrated over some of the recent decision making. Yeah, the houses have been friends for. Ever doesn't mean individuals have to, mm -hmm. you know, be completely exactly. Friendly. Because uh, in the book, Leto is uh, Duke Leto is described as kind of prickly at times. It's like, uh, what is it? Uh, Jessica actually has a a bit where it's like she likes one version of him, but then when he goes into asshole mode, she can't stand him. So, your ruler is, on the surface, very friendly, but she has her own ambitions. Yeah, I totally yeah. envision yeah. her pretty much like the uh, the Queen of Thorns there, where she she'll she'll uh, she'll do this do whatever is necessary to accomplish the appropriate goals. And she will tell you exactly what she thinks of you. So, from her point of view, it's us. Um, is it? What's your house name? Denan. Denan. So, house Denan first, house Atreides second. Yeah, that sounds right. I would probably think of it more like. Uh, a parasitic relationship or yeah more than symbiotic parasitic so it's like house denon is the tick feeding off the house of trades getting the getting the ride along and 
and if the uh and if house atreides falls it'll just move on to a different host like it's loyal but it's not that loyal it'll it'll be loyal enough to keep the uh to keep the host going oh, what All right, so I will copy all the fields notes to the forum, Great. and we'll start a, a thing on that to flesh out stuffs. But yeah, tech level ten as the the base for things. But there's certainly elements of higher tech. I guess in GURPS term, that's tech level 10 super science. Mm -hmm. No, I think we're good. Does anyone have any questions? Not at the moment. No. Yeah, I can't think of anything. All right. Well, um, we can wrap it up here then. Groovy. And we'll take the rest to the boards. Outstanding. Two weeks. Captain Button doesn't say anything. He said hello. Captain Button said lots of things. And I was chatting with him. Oh, cool. All right. Well, we'll wrap it up here. There. Sweet. So, two weeks. Let us know what you need. Two weeks. Um, we'll start. Unless, unless people, those that are here, want to do that um, once-off, <clears throat> one-shot um, adventure generator thing. Right. Eh, it depends. We'll sort it out in the boards. Cool, cool. Right. Let me just finish the stream. All right. Well, Good night, thanks. Stream. Good night, stream. Good night.